Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome back to the NIU Huskies Dynasty. We continue this season as we go into the back half of this year, and we are sitting here at four and six on the year, three and three in conference play. We have actually had a pretty good string of conference games, to be honest. We have been sticking in these games. We've had some close losses, but for the most part, we've been in these games. I think it's just been really turnovers and crucial plays that we aren't executing on. Looking at the Heisman race, Tim Tebow is leading there with Sam Bradford behind him. I forgot all about Jordan Shipley. He was such a good receiver with Texas as they are really good this year as well. Oklahoma and Florida are top five in the nation right now. So let's get this game underway as we do receive the opening kickoff. Here is Travis Hammond giving us good field position. Malik Surratt's having a decent year as he throws across the middle on his first pass. That will be caught. Jeremiah Wynn gets to about the 45 yard line. It's a first down. Handing the ball off to Brady King now. Good hole open up for him, and he picks up about a gain of eight or nine. Brady King is the power back. He's not going to bust out many long runs as here's a play action to him. Surratt moves the left side. He's going to stop and throw, and he's got Nathan Palmer inside the 10. What a good throw by the lefty. We're now in goal-to-go -go situation. Third and goal now. Here is Surratt. He's got space. Will he get to the pylon? Will he? He will. Touchdown. He barely gets tackled at the goal line. And that will get us six points on the board. Good opening drive here for NIU. Here is Ohio now out on offense. Let's see if our defense can come up with a stop. Here's a throw across the middle. Broken tackle and tackle from behind by Wolfgang Mefti Masid. Now here's a handoff on a third and two up the middle, and that will be enough for the first down. Nathan Brooks Jr. on the stop. So here's another pass out to left side, and that's a spin move up the middle, and another first down picked up by Ohio, and another looks like face mask, but they will not call that on Brooks. Is now here's a handoff up the middle, and that is DJ Perkle bringing him down. Why does the big fella have to pull the face mask? He has way more strength than he does. So now inside the red zone, here is Ohio threatening to score. The quarterback scrambles and does get sacked. What a good hit. That is Trangitella on that play. Is now that brings it to a third and 11. Here's a quick throw across the middle, and Mefti Masid is there before they can get to the first down marker. We do come up with the stop. Is now they line up to go for this on a fourth and one. Running the tight end in motion. They're probably going to hand it off this time. We try to stuff it, and we do. There we go. Our defense showed up on that drive. It's Mefti Masid again. And now here we are back on our offense. Here is Malik Surratt now scrambling to the left side after a, a penalty brings it back to a first and 20. And that is caught by Nathan Palmer, who has been very good for us. It's a play action fake now, Surratt. He's going to throw across the middle. He's got Palmer again. Another catch and another first down for Palmer. I really like him as a slot guy. He has shown up a lot this season. Here is Surratt now. He's got space. Taking off to the left side. You know he can run the football. I'm not sure why teams aren't putting out a spy by now. To under center now. They send the corner blitz this time. Surratt throws to the flats. Open man. That's Brady King who has it. He picks up almost a gain of nine. But we do eventually pick up the first down. Three minutes left here in the first half. Hand off to Brady King. He tries to cut back, but does get stopped at about the 10-yard line. So third and eight now. Here is Surratt stepping up in the pocket. He's got space. He's going to take it himself for the touchdown. Malik Surratt is second of the day on the ground. 14-0 here versus Ohio. Ohio started out this season as one of the best teams in the conference. They haven't been that way so far as of late. As here's the throw across the middle before halftime as we have the ball back here with about a minute 15 left. That is Nardell Harrison with the catch out of the backfield. So here is Surratt now under center facing pressure again. And Palmer goes up and gets it but does get tattooed. But it is a first down catch on that one. How about Palmer in this game? Now goal four to go. Here is Surratt taking off. It's a touchdown right 
before halftime. 21 to nothing here at half. Ohio did not see this coming. They are at home as well. Here is the backup quarterback, Andrew Smith, into the game. Here's a throw to the right side, and that is Marcus Oliver threatening to score already to open the second half, and we're already up three scores. So here is Smith now running, win in motion, play action fake this time. He's got space, but he's going to stop and throw. It's a touchdown. Four on the day here for NIU. 28 to nothing. Ohio has not been doing well keeping up with this offense. But here in the fourth quarter, Ohio with one last shot here, throws one deep, and that is caught. Jerry Elaponte gets beat on that throw, and Ohio does come back here in garbage time, does end up scoring a touchdown and bringing it to within eight, but now here they are with a minute and a half left, a fourth and 10 opportunity, throw to the right side. It's deflected, and that will be the game as Deontay Murray seals this one up. NIU wins this one handedly 28 to 20. We do allow 20 unanswered points just like they allow 28 unanswered points, but still Malik Surratt, three touchdowns on the ground showing off his legs today. He doesn't have the big passing stats, but Nathan Palmer did have five for 86. That's a pretty good day for him out of the slot. We did have a sack. That was actually Jake Kaufman who got in for the sack earlier, not Transitella. And we end up getting this win. And we now are four and three in conference play. Now taking on a team that is on the top of our uh, conference right now, and that is Central Michigan. They have two losses in conference. Their star player is Antonio Brown. Yes, Antonio Brown. We are back in that NCAA football when he was a junior. So this is going to be a whole lot of fun. Are we going to cover him well? We'll have to see. He was a star in college. This is going to be a tough game. So here we go, Central Michigan on the road. Let's get this game underway. A lot is at stake in this game. We have three losses in conference play. Here's Antonio Brown back to receive the kickoff. He does try to hurdle a defender on the ground and does get stopped in the air. So three losses, three losses in conference versus two losses. Let's see if we can come away with the victory. Here's a throw across the middle, and that is to Antonio Brown right away. He has it for a gain of 10. And it's a first down. So here they are at about the 45-yard line this time. Clean pocket. No pressure. Airing it out deep. And that is Antonio Brown again. Inside the 10, getting behind Z Sullivan at safety. It's now goal to go. Handoff to the running back. And that will be a stop at about the 4-yard line. And they will have to settle for three on that first drive. So here is Malik Surratt now out onto the field after a three-touchdown game last week when he ran in for three. That is his first pass of the game caught by Jeremiah Wynn. So now we get it across the 50 now for a second and three play action fake. Surratt using his legs. He takes off, and he does get to about the 32-yard line. It's a first down. So line up in the I formation this time. Play action fake to Brady King. Breaking the tackle is Surratt, but he can't get away. And once again, he fumbles it, but it looks like Scatra does pick up the ball and does get back to the line of scrimmage. So now a second and 10 now. Five wide out there. Surratt moves. He's going to try to stop and throw, but he throws on the run. He's got Martell Moore inside the 15 to about the 11. It is a first down, but also a face mask. So now that will bring us inside the 10. The penalty brings us back to about the 12-yard line. Andrew Smith in the game, but he gets brought down. The ball is on the ground, and Pollock does pick it up. And once again, another strip sack for Central Michigan. So third and goal. Surratt back into the game, but the pressure is right there. It's a sack here for, N for Central Michigan. And now here comes uh, the Chippewas back out onto the field. So here's a throw across the middle. That is caught, and that will not be Antonio Brown this time, but it will be a first down nonetheless. Handoff to the right side, and that is going to be a nice tackle, one-on-one -on -one by Devarius Benjamin Ray, as that brings it to about the 45 now. Quick throw across the middle, and another stop. This time it's Nathan Brooks Jr., 
he gets in for the tackle. So we do force the punt on that play as here is Surratt back out onto the field, throw into the right side. It's Nathan Palmer again, just came off of an 85 yard receiving day. And he does come up with a first down. As Surratt has looked good throwing the ball so far, here's a quick throw to the right side. This time it's Marcus Oliver who gets tackled at about the 14 yard line. And we are moving the chains once again. So here is Surratt now under center. He does take off up the middle. He has space, dives forward, and he meant to slide on that one. Dove anyway, it's a gain of 11. And now that brings it to a first and goal. Play action fake now, Surratt under center. Could not get rid of it. He had a couple of guys open in the end zone. And now with 19 seconds left here in the first half, he throws to the end zone, it's a touchdown. Alexander bets the back. Shoulder throw by Malik Surratt does get in for the score. And it's now a 10 to three game. So here we are in the second half. Chippewas out on offense. They have not got anything going since the first drive. That's going to be a sack. And our defense has not gotten many sacks this year, but now it's a third and 17 quick throw. Antonio Brown has it again, but it's not gonna be enough for a first down. So we do force the punt now, but we do get pinned back inside our 10 yard line after the punt. Here's Andrew Smith, airing it out deep, and that one will be caught. It's Travis Hammond who goes up and gets it. It's a first down throw. Malik Surratt is shaken up in this play. Here's a toss play though, and Brady King is off to the races. This could be his longest run of the season. And that one gets us on the other side of the 50. And the big power back has a big first down. So here's Andrew Smith now. Quick throw across the middle. That is Nathan Palmer. He gets inside the 20 to about the 18-yard line. So now at about the 12-yard line, play action fake. Throwing to Brady King inside the 5. And that one will be a first down, but a flag on the play. This one will be coming back. So we bring it back to the 22 now, a second and 14. His Smith is in the pocket, clean pocket so far, tries to fit it into a hole and it's picked off. He tried to force one in there and that's not Malik Surratt. So Malik Surratt can usually put the ball in there right there, but Andrew Smith cannot. And now here is the Chippewas back out onto the field with good field position. Here they throw across the middle and that is caught at about the 24 yard line brought down. And now we're into the fourth quarter. They got to make their move now. 10-3 game. They're still down by seven. Running the option to the left side. Pitching it to the running back. And he will get brought down, but he does get one yard. That's enough to move the chains. So now at about the 10-yard line, they run a receiver in motion this time. Fake jet sweep. They throw to the end zone. And they will be marked down at about the one-yard line. And now it's first and goal. So here's a quarterback sneak and they will get in. It's gonna be a tie ball game with four and a half minutes left. But you gotta think the NIU offense is gonna look to burn some clock on this final drive. Malik Surratt is still on the sideline here. Here's Andrew Smith now. He's just gonna try to take off. He didn't wanna risk that throw. He may have had the tight end deep, but he did not throw that post corner route. So third and seven now, play action fake. Here is Smith. In the pocket, they're only rushing two. He's going to take his time, waiting, throwing, and it's Nardell Harrison. He has it. I'm not sure if he stepped out of bounds or not, but he does get the completion. No flag on the play. So at the 30-yard line, here is Brady King showing off that power. Gets to about the 22. And now this clock continues to run. Two and a half minutes left. Brady King, he gets pushed forward on a second down carry. And that will be another first down here for NIU. A minute and a half left. I formation, Nardell Harrison in the game. He does fight forward. And another four-yard gain. That's enough for a first down. 30 seconds to go. Just want to get it to the middle of the field. And this will set up a game-winning field goal as we let the clock wind down. Two seconds, one second. The kick is up. And it is good. Mike Salerno hits the game winner from 23 yards out, and NIU 
goes 2-0 and in this episode. And we now have five wins in conference play, which actually ties Central Michigan at 5-3 and three in conference. So this is going to be interesting. I don't know how the standings are going to go, but this was the final game of the regular season, our sixth win of the year. So we are really bowl eligible. I'm not sure. If, not every six win team makes bowls, but that does make us bowl eligible. So we will have to see what happens with the final standings. We did not get any. Well, we got one sack and that was by Kraus, but we did not get any turnovers at all. That's something that we have not been able to do this year, but we still end up getting the win narrowly this time. And oh, well, I mean, a win is a win. Antonio Brown did actually have pretty good stats on us but i mean in the second half and really after that final drive after that first drive they couldn't really do anything he had four for 80 but he does get over a thousand yards with that game so looking at the standings now we did defeat ball state we defeated central michigan that puts us on top of the mac west we were actually ranked second to last in the conference going into that game. But because of who we've beaten, we've beaten Eastern Michigan, Ball State, Ohio, and Central Michigan. We now jump all of those teams and we will play in the MAC championship. We are not really sure how this happened, but other teams collapsed and we will face Akron in the MAC title game. Can you believe it? I did not think this team would be even close to being ready for a MAC championship, but here in season one, we are there. So next episode will be the championship game. We'll see if we can put up a good fight against Akron. We've already lost to them before, so we'll have to see what happens this time. Hit subscribe, hit that like button, stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. I like getting money, I got time to get it Target on me, so my car's a tenny Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it Bobbing in the dash and the stick is with it And I hit the 4-5 on the west side But I'm from the east side, this how we slide This how we ride, yeah, yeah, this how we ride